How to Get Rich Slowly In a world that often glorifies get-rich-quick schemes and overnight success stories, it's easy to forget that wealth can also be accumulated gradually, with patience and persistence. This is the idea behind How to Get Rich Slowly, a book that explores the principles, strategies, and mindset required to build lasting wealth over time. Whether you're a young adult starting your career, a mid-career professional looking to accelerate your savings, or someone approaching retirement with an eye on financial security, this book will provide you with actionable insights and practical advice on how to make your money work for you, rather than offering quick fixes or unrealistic promises. How to Get Rich Slowly emphasizes the power of small, consistent actions that, when compounded over time, can lead to significant wealth. You'll learn about the importance of setting clear financial goals, creating a budget, reducing debt, building a diversified investment portfolio, and other key aspects of personal finance. Moreover, this book also recognizes that getting rich is not just about the money, but about the choices and trade-offs we make in our lives. It's about understanding our values, our priorities, and our long-term aspirations, and aligning our financial decisions with them. Ultimately, how to get rich slowly is a call to action for anyone who believes that financial freedom and security are achievable goals. It's a reminder that wealth is not a destination, but a journey, and that the path to success requires discipline, patience, and resilience. So, whether you're just starting out or have been on the road to wealth for a while, I invite you to join me on this journey, to learn from the experts, to draw inspiration from real-life stories, and to discover the power of getting rich slowly. Chapter 1. Why Getting Rich Slowly Matters When we think of wealth, we often imagine flashy cars, fancy vacations, and expensive gadgets. We associate it with luxury, status, and material possessions. But true wealth is much more than that. It's the freedom to pursue our dreams, to provide for our loved ones, and to live life on our own terms. It's the peace of mind that comes from knowing we have the resources to weather life's challenges and opportunities. But how do we achieve this kind of wealth? For many of us, the answer is simple. We need to make more money. We work longer hours, chase higher-paying jobs, and hustle to turn our passions into profitable ventures. And while there's nothing inherently wrong with these pursuits, they can easily become all-consuming, leading us to neglect other aspects of our lives and health. Moreover, the pursuit of more money often comes at a cost. We accumulate debt, sacrifice our time and energy, and put ourselves in risky situations, hoping that the rewards will outweigh the risks. But as we've seen time and time again, this approach can lead to financial instability, stress, and burnout. So what's the alternative? How can we achieve lasting wealth without sacrificing our well-being? The answer lies in getting rich slowly. Getting rich slowly means embracing the idea that wealth is not just about how much money we make, but also about how we manage and invest it over time. It means recognizing that small, consistent actions can have a significant impact, and that patience and discipline are key ingredients of financial success. By getting rich slowly, we can avoid the traps of consumerism, debt, and short-term thinking, and instead focus on building a solid financial foundation that will serve us well for years to come. We can create a lifestyle that aligns with our values and priorities and that allows us to enjoy the journey as well as the destination. In the chapters that follow, we'll explore the principles, strategies, and mindset required to get rich slowly. We'll cover topics such as setting clear financial goals, creating a budget, reducing debt, building a diversified investment portfolio, and managing risk. We'll also examine the role of habits, mindset, and lifestyle choices in our financial success. Ultimately, the goal of this book is to help you create a path to wealth that is sustainable, meaningful, and rewarding.
It's a path that may not lead to overnight riches, but that will help you achieve true financial freedom and security. So, let's get started on this journey and discover the power of getting rich slowly. Chapter 2 Setting Financial Goals One of the first steps towards getting rich slowly is setting clear financial goals. Without a destination in mind, it's difficult to know what actions to take and how to measure progress. Moreover, having a clear set of goals can provide motivation, focus, and a sense of purpose in our financial lives. So, what are financial goals? Simply put, they are specific, measurable, and time-bound objectives that we set for ourselves in the realm of personal finance. They can range from short-term goals, such as paying off a credit card balance, to long-term goals, such as saving for retirement or a down payment on a home. When setting financial goals, it's important to be realistic and to align them with our values, priorities, and life stage. For example, a recent college graduate might have different goals than a mid-career professional or a retiree. Moreover, financial goals should be specific enough to be actionable, but not so rigid as to limit flexibility and creativity. To get started, consider the following steps. Identify your values and priorities. What matters most to you in life? What kind of lifestyle do you want to have? What are your long-term aspirations? Assess your current financial situation. How much debt do you have? How much do you earn and spend each month? What are your assets and liabilities? Set short-term and long-term financial goals. What are some specific objectives you want to achieve in the next 6 to 12 months? What are your goals for the next 5, 10, or 20 years? Write down your goals and make them smart. Specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound. Prioritize your goals and create a plan of action. Which goals are most important to you? What actions will you take to achieve them? What resources do you need? Review and adjust your goals periodically. As your life circumstances and financial situation change, it's important to reassess your goals and adjust them as needed. By setting clear financial goals, you'll have a roadmap for your financial journey and a way to measure your progress and success. Moreover, you'll be able to make better financial decisions, allocate your resources more effectively, and avoid distractions and temptations that may derail you from your path. In the next chapter, we'll discuss how to create a budget that aligns with your financial goals and values. Chapter 3. Creating a Budget Budgeting is one of the most powerful tools in the arsenal of anyone who wants to get rich slowly. A budget is a financial plan that helps you track your income and expenses, and ensure that you're living within your means. By creating and sticking to a budget, you can avoid overspending, reduce debt, and save more money for your financial goals. To create a budget, follow these steps. 1. Determine your net income. This is the amount of money you earn after taxes and other deductions. If you have a regular salary, this is a straightforward calculation. If your income is irregular or you have multiple sources of income, you'll need to estimate your average monthly income. 2. List your fixed expenses. These are expenses that remain constant from month to month, such as rent or mortgage payments, car payments, insurance premiums, and minimum debt payments. 3. List your variable expenses. These are expenses that vary from month to month, such as groceries, entertainment, utilities, and transportation. Estimate how much you spend on these categories each month. 4. Calculate your total expenses. Add up your fixed and variable expenses to get your total monthly expenses. 5. Compare your income and expenses. If your income exceeds your expenses, congratulations. You're living within your means. If your expenses exceed your income, you'll need to adjust your budget by either reducing your expenses or increasing your income. 6. Identify areas where you can cut back. 
Look for opportunities to reduce your expenses without sacrificing your quality of life. Can you cook at home more often? Do you really need that gym membership? Can you negotiate a lower interest rate on your debt? 7. Allocate money towards your financial goals. Once you have a clear picture of your income and expenses, you can allocate money towards your financial goals, such as building an emergency fund, paying off debt, or investing for retirement. 8. Monitor your budget and adjust as needed. Your budget is a living document that should be reviewed and adjusted on a regular basis. Track your expenses and income each month and make changes as necessary. By creating a budget and sticking to it, you'll be able to take control of your finances, reduce stress and uncertainty, and make progress towards your financial goals. Moreover, budgeting can help you develop better financial habits, such as saving more and spending mindfully. In the next chapter, we'll discuss how to reduce debt and free up more money for your financial goals. Chapter 4. Reducing Debt Debt can be a major obstacle on the path to financial freedom. High interest debt, such as credit card balances or personal loans, can eat up a significant portion of your income and prevent you from saving and investing for your future. To get rich slowly, you'll need to take a proactive approach to reduce your debt and free up more money for your financial goals. Here are some strategies for reducing debt. 1. Stop adding to your debt. If you're carrying a balance on your credit cards, stop using them until you've paid off the debt. Focus on paying in cash or using a debit card for your purchases. 2. Prioritize your debt payments. Make a list of your debts from the highest interest rate to the lowest. Focus on paying off the debt with the highest interest rate first, while making the minimum payments on your other debts. 3. Consider debt consolidation. If you have multiple high-interest debts, such as credit card balances and personal loans, you may be able to consolidate them into a single, lower-interest loan. This can make it easier to manage your debt and reduce your interest expenses. 4. Negotiate with your creditors. If you're struggling to make your debt payments, reach out to your creditors and ask if they can lower your interest rate or provide a more affordable payment plan. Many creditors are willing to work with you if you're proactive and communicate your situation clearly. 5. Look for ways to increase your income. Consider taking on a side hustle or finding ways to increase your income through your current job. Use the extra income to pay down your debt faster. 6. Cut back on expenses. Look for ways to reduce your expenses, such as cutting out unnecessary subscriptions or memberships, cooking at home more often, or finding ways to save on your utility bills. Use the money you save to pay down your debt faster. By reducing your debt, you'll be able to free up more money for your financial goals, such as saving for retirement or investing in your future. Moreover, you'll be able to reduce your stress and anxiety and take control of your financial future. In the next chapter, we'll discuss how to build an emergency fund to protect yourself from unexpected expenses and emergencies. Chapter 5. Building an Emergency Fund one of the keys to getting rich slowly is to protect yourself from unexpected expenses and emergencies. An emergency fund is a savings account that's specifically set aside for unexpected expenses, such as a car repair, medical bill, or job loss. By building an emergency fund, you'll be able to handle these unexpected expenses without derailing your financial plans. Here are some tips for building an emergency fund. One. Determine how much you need. As a general rule of thumb, aim to save three to six months worth of living expenses in your emergency fund. However, the amount you need will depend on your personal situation. Consider factors such as your job stability, family situation, and other sources of income when deciding on the amount. 2. Set up a separate savings account. To avoid the temptation of dipping into your emergency fund for other expenses, 
set up a separate savings account that's specifically designated for your emergency fund. 3. Make saving automatic. Set up an automatic transfer from your checking account to your emergency fund savings account each month. This way, you'll be saving for your emergency fund without having to think about it. 4. Cut back on expenses. Look for ways to reduce your expenses and save more money for your emergency fund. Consider cutting out unnecessary expenses or finding ways to save on your bills. 5. Use windfalls to boost your emergency fund. If you receive a bonus at work, a tax refund, or any other unexpected income, consider using some or all of it to boost your emergency fund. 6. Resist the temptation to use your emergency fund for non-emergencies. Your emergency fund should be reserved for true emergencies. Avoid using it for non-essential expenses or things that you could have planned for. By building an emergency fund, you'll be able to protect yourself from unexpected expenses and emergencies, reduce your financial stress, and stay on track towards your financial goals. In the next chapter, we'll discuss how to start investing for your future. Chapter 6. Investing for your future. Investing is a crucial component of building wealth over the long term. By investing your money, you can potentially earn higher returns than you would from keeping your money in a savings account. However, investing also comes with risks, so it's important to educate yourself and approach investing with a long-term perspective. Here are some tips for getting started with investing. 1. Determine your investment goals. Before you start investing, determine your investment goals and time horizon. Are you investing for retirement? a down payment on a home, or some other goal? Your investment strategy should be aligned with your goals. 2. Educate yourself. There are many resources available for learning about investing, including books, articles, and online courses. Educate yourself about the different types of investments, such as stocks, bonds, and mutual funds, as well as the risks and potential rewards of each. Three. Start with a small amount. You don't need a lot of money to start investing. Start with a small amount and gradually increase your investments as you become more comfortable with the process. 4. Consider working with a financial advisor. A financial advisor can help you develop an investment strategy that's tailored to your goals and risk tolerance. They can also provide guidance and support throughout the investment process. 5. Diversify your portfolio. Diversification is the practice of spreading your investments across different asset classes, such as stocks, bonds, and real estate. This can help reduce your overall risk and potentially increase your returns. 6. Monitor your investments. Regularly monitor your investments to ensure they're still aligned with your goals and risk tolerance. Rebalance your portfolio as necessary to maintain your desired asset allocation. Remember, investing is a long-term process. It's important to stay disciplined and avoid making rash decisions based on short-term market fluctuations. By investing for the long term, you can potentially earn higher returns and build wealth over time. In the next chapter, we'll discuss the importance of having a plan for your financial future and how to create a financial plan that works for you. Chapter 7. Creating a Financial Plan Creating a financial plan is a crucial step in building wealth and achieving your financial goals. A financial plan is a roadmap that outlines your financial goals, how you plan to achieve them, and the steps you need to take to get there. Here are some tips for creating a financial plan. 1. Determine your financial goals. Before you create a financial plan, you need to determine your financial goals. These might include saving for retirement, paying off debt, buying a home, or saving for your children's education. 2. Assess your current financial situation. Take a close look at your current financial situation, including your income expenses, assets, 
and liabilities. This will help you identify areas where you can cut back on expenses or increase your income. 3. Develop a budget. A budget is a crucial component of a financial plan. It helps you track your expenses and ensure that you're living within your means. Make sure to include savings and investment contributions in your budget. 4. Develop a debt repayment plan. If you have debt, develop a plan for paying it off as quickly as possible. This might involve prioritizing high-interest debt, such as credit card debt, and making extra payments towards your debt. 5. Set up automatic contributions. Set up automatic contributions to your savings and investment accounts to ensure that you're consistently saving and investing for your future. 6. Regularly review and adjust your plan. Your financial plan should be reviewed and adjusted on a regular basis. This might involve making changes to your budget, adjusting your investment strategy, or updating your financial goals. Remember, a financial plan is a living document that should be adjusted as your circumstances and goals change. By creating a financial plan and regularly reviewing and adjusting it, you'll be on your way to achieving your financial goals and building wealth over time. In the next chapter, we'll discuss the importance of maintaining a positive mindset and staying focused on your long-term financial goals. Chapter 8 The Power of a Positive Mindset Building wealth is a long-term process that requires patience, discipline, and a positive mindset. Maintaining a positive mindset can help you stay focused on your long-term goals and overcome challenges along the way. Here are some tips for maintaining a positive mindset. 1. Focus on the positive. Instead of focusing on what you don't have or what you can't do, focus on the positive aspects of your life and your finances. Celebrate your successes, no matter how small and focus on the progress you're making towards your financial goals. 2. Visualize your success. Take time to visualize your future success and what it will feel like to achieve your financial goals. This can help keep you motivated and focused on your long-term goals. 3. Surround yourself with positive influences. Surround yourself with people who support your financial goals and share your positive mindset. This might include friends, family members, or financial professionals. 4. Learn from your mistakes. Building wealth is a process, and there will inevitably be setbacks along the way. Instead of getting discouraged by mistakes, use them as learning opportunities and adjust your approach accordingly. 5. Practice gratitude. Practicing gratitude can help shift your mindset towards positivity and abundance. Take time to appreciate the good things in your life, including your finances. Remember, a positive mindset is a powerful tool in achieving your financial goals. By staying focused on the positive aspects of your life and finances, visualizing your success, and surrounding yourself with positive influences, you'll be on your way to building wealth and achieving financial success. In the next chapter, we'll discuss the importance of giving back and how charitable giving can be an important part of a wealth-building strategy. Chapter 9. The Importance of Giving Back While building wealth is an important goal, it's equally important to give back to your community and support causes you care about. Charitable giving can not only help make a positive impact on the world around you, but it can also be an important part of a well-rounded wealth-building strategy. Here are some ways that charitable giving can benefit your finances. 1. Tax Benefits Charitable giving can provide tax benefits, including deductions for donations made to eligible organizations. These tax benefits can help reduce your taxable income and lower your overall tax bill. 2. Personal Satisfaction Charitable giving can be a rewarding experience, allowing you to make a positive impact on the world and support causes you care about. This can help improve your overall well-being and satisfaction with your life. 3. Networking Opportunities 
charitable organizations often bring together like-minded individuals who share similar values and goals. This can provide valuable networking opportunities and help you build relationships with others who can support your personal and professional goals. 4. Reputation Building Supporting charitable organizations and causes can help build your reputation as a caring and socially responsible individual. This can have a positive impact on your personal and professional relationships and opportunities. When considering charitable giving, it's important to do your research and choose organizations that align with your values and have a proven track record of making a positive impact. Consider the causes and issues that are important to you and look for organizations that are making a meaningful difference in those areas. Remember, charitable giving is not only a way to make a positive impact on the world around you, but it can also be an important part of a well-rounded wealth-building strategy. By giving back and supporting causes you care about, you can not only make a positive impact on the world, but also reap financial and personal benefits as well. In the final chapter, we'll recap the key takeaways from this book and provide some final words of advice for building wealth slowly and steadily over time. Chapter 10. Recap and Final Words of Advice Congratulations! You've made it to the end of this book and have hopefully gained some valuable insights and strategies for building wealth slowly and steadily over time. To wrap things up, let's recap the key takeaways from this book and provide some final words of advice for achieving financial success. 1. Start early and be consistent. Building wealth is a long-term process that requires consistency and discipline. Start as early as possible and make regular contributions to your savings and investment accounts. 2. Create a budget and stick to it. Budgeting is a critical part of managing your finances and staying on track towards your long-term goals. Make a realistic budget and commit to sticking to it over time. 3. Avoid debt and live below your means. Debt can be a major obstacle to building wealth, so avoid taking on unnecessary debt and strive to live below your means. This will allow you to save and invest more over time. 4. Diversify your investments. Diversification is a key strategy for reducing risk and achieving long-term growth. Make sure to diversify your investments across different asset classes and sectors. 5. Maintain a positive mindset. Maintaining a positive mindset can help you stay focused on your long-term goals and overcome challenges along the way. Visualize your success, learn from your mistakes and surround yourself with positive influences. 6. Give back and support causes you care about. Charitable giving can be an important part of a well-rounded wealth-building strategy, providing tax benefits, personal satisfaction, networking opportunities, and reputation building. Remember, building wealth is a journey, not a destination. It requires patience, discipline, and a long-term perspective. By following the strategies and advice outlined in this book, you can set yourself up for financial success and build a brighter future for yourself and your loved ones. Thank you for reading this book, and we wish you all the best on your journey towards financial success. This book that was authored by OpenAI's ChatGPT With a company taking on billions of dollars in investments, this is the perfect time to find out ways for this innovative tool to help you learn how to get rich slowly. Audio for this book was provided by NaturalSoft Limited's Natural Reader AI software using their commercial license. Per their website, this license allows you to use its software and voices for commercial or public use. This includes, but is not limited to, YouTube videos, public announcements, broadcasts, and e-learning.